Hey gang, I want to tell you about experience I had uh, when I was staying in a hotel in Vegas. It had a really nice gym actually, like, like a fully decked out gym. And um, there was a guy in there working out who was wearing a Colgate hockey shirt. So if any of you were working out wearing your Colgate hockey shirt in a Las Vegas gym in the last three months, <laughs> it's probably you. Um, but he was going through a great workout. Uh, and then he did two things that made me kind of like, oh, I was just so disappointed. Because I was, he was doing rear foot elevated split squats and really good pull-ups. And, and then he did these two things. So let me show you what it was that, that let me down so bad. This is Maria from HockeyTrainingPro.com. So the first one he did, I'll just kind of turn this way. Uh, he did the old Russian twist. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Um, so, you know, feet up off the ground, or some people do it with feet on the ground. He had his feet off the ground. He was a little bit rounded over, too. And he had a, actually, it was like a 35 pound plate. And he was coming here and here and here and here. And, and you know, like touching the plate to the floor each time he went. So that made me cringe. And it made just like a little piece of my soul this big died when I saw that uh, and I'll tell you why and I'll tell you what he could have done instead. So our lumbar spine isn't really meant to be rotated quite that much and especially under a load like that um, it's just not designed for that much movement and when we think of hockey and, and shooting it really comes from the legs driving the hips around so the torso stabilizes and yes there's some rotation through the thoracic spine but we're really just trying to translate that force from our our um, legs through our hips to our stick so you could do this with the bungees you could also do it in a cable column an adjustable cable column which they had in that gym so if you start here and you come around you're going to shift your weight boom and then finish here with your hips around so you get to drive from your legs brace with your abdominals as you come around on the shot. So that's a bungee hip lock. You could also, although sometimes it's hard in a commercial gym because they don't necessarily have a concrete block wall, but a great one would be a medicine ball rotary pass into the wall. So it's the same idea, loading that back leg and firing through the hips. So those are two alternatives to that Russian twist. We won't do that one anymore. The other thing I saw him do that really isn't a big deal, he did planks and he had a terrific plank. He held that thing for about two to three minutes, it seemed like, and it looked really, really good. But what that tells me is that this exercise was way too easy for him. So he was doing it perfectly. He could hold it forever. So let's add a little bit more challenge because what he needed wasn't just a static hold. He needed dynamic core stabilization. So let me give you a couple alternatives that he could have done instead. And you can do too. If you have a really good plank and it's easy for you to hold that, let's increase the challenge. Let's make your body stronger, smarter, and so better. So from this plank that looks so good, what he could have done is added in a little Superman element that would make it a lot harder. So sort of alternating march. He could have gone into his bear position to stabilize. So adding a little bit more stress through the hips and shoulders while controlling with the torso. Or he could have grabbed an ab wheel or even a stability ball and just done a really nice rollout or coming a little bit to the sides. So I would have preferred to see any one of those three because he had such a solid plank. Way too easy for him. Don't just hold them for longer and longer and longer. Make it a little more functional. Make it more of an exercise that you have to turn those muscles on, turn them off, or turn them on and hold them while there's movement involved the way you need them on the ice. So I hope you enjoyed those alternatives. I'm sorry that guy let us down like that. I'm sure he won't do it again. This is Maria from HockeyTrainingPro.com. My mission is to help 10,000 players win more games with fewer injuries, even if you don't have the genetic gifts or the natural abilities of your competitors. If you like this video, feel free to pass it on or subscribe to this channel to get lots more training tips. Cheers.